Welcome to episode twelve thirty six. Howard Hughes, from genius to madman, is famous for being handsome, rich, and always around the most beautiful women. The outline of episode twelve thirty six, part one: the genius. This is part two: the madman. Question. You asked me just now、uh, about a reply that I made. My answer is I don't remember. Now the man is well, taking it down there. Well, I'll ask you again. Ask Will you bring Mr. Mars in at the two o'clock session? Oh,、uh, I no, I don't think I will. Will you try to bring him in? No, I don't think I'll try. All right. Throughout the hearings, Hughes stood his ground. But the final straw came when questioning turned to the flying boat project. I've put the sweat of my life into this thing. I have my reputation rolled up in it, and I have stated several times that if it's a failure, I'll probably leave this country and never come back. And I mean it. Born in 1905 in a small town called Humble in Texas to wealthy parents, his father was a lawyer who became rich. By inventing an oil drill and starting his own company, Howard Hughes was the only child, and he grew up spoiled rotten. He was sixteen when his mother died, and he was eighteen when his father died. At age eighteen, he inherited a thriving company and became a millionaire. Dropped out of Rice University, let others manage the oil tool business, and set out for Hollywood in 1925. He was 19. Established a film office and signed talented director Louis Milestone their first effort, Two Arabian Nights. More importantly, it earned Hughes his first Academy Award in 1927. In picture, it was called Hell's Angels. This was going to be his magnum opus. In Hollywood, he'd hang out with the most beautiful women in the world. He was married twice, but had no children. That Howard Hughes has just flown across America faster than any man has ever done it before, at an average speed of 332 miles per hour, breaking his own previous record. I understand that you flew at an average speed of 332 miles an hour. Is that correct? <clears throat> Now the part two of Howard Hughes' life: the madman, first the recluse, and then his death. The state, Hughes, the sportsman and pilot, engineer, eccentric, but most of all billionaire. He made Nevada his home and empire. Up there in the penthouse suite of the Desert Inn Hotel, he cut himself off from the rest of the world. Total, absolute seclusion. In 1976, Howard Hughes died without a will. He left behind two and a half billion dollars. Emancipated body finally breathed its last breath on the world. It was shocked when the autopsy pictures revealed the terrible condition of his body, the result of undiagnosed OCD, multiple severe head injuries, and 30 years of largely self-imposed neglect. It was a sad end. For a truly brilliant man. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Howard Hughes, Nine Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.